Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Ron. Um, I just got back from Thanksgiving with the family. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving with your family and friends. Um, I want to go over something because I took a few days off, obviously. What I want to do is because now that the vaccine is being pushed through, I mean, through the emergency process and everything, uh, several vaccines, what I'm going to do is, because I'm being very careful, and I'm, um, I'm probably going to put a disclaimer before the video, because I had a recent video taken down by YouTube, and rightfully so, because I gave a lot of opinion on masks, and I didn't want that to be misconstrued with the true facts and everything, so I understood them taking that down. However, what I'm going to do is, directly from the CDC's website, there's a lot of people, they keep hearing about vaccines, so I'm going to do this small series directly from CDC about the vaccines, what to expect, how they're coming along, who it's for, who it's not, how they're going to give it out, who they're going to give it out to, etc., etc. Okay? So again, I'm going to do my best not to inject my opinion into this because I want the straight facts from the CDC. Okay? So today, um, the one we're going to do is from the CDC websites, and I'm going to provide links to all this stuff. This is eight things to know about vaccine planning. Okay, so this is the first one. And let me just make sure it's something here. Uh, yes. All right. Eight things to know about vaccine planning. In the United States, there is not yet an authorized or approved vaccine to prevent coronavirus disease. Uh, and by the way, just so you know, this was updated November 20th. So anything you may have hear, heard in the news that something's being shipped or whatever, this was updated the 20th. I'm sure it'll be updated very soon, but it still applies. Um, it, there is not yet an authorized or approved vaccine to prevent coronavirus uh, disease 2019 COVID-19. The federal government, through Operation Warp Speed, has been working since the pandemic started to make one or more COVID-19 vaccines available as soon as possible. Although CDC does not have a role in developing COVID-19 vaccines, CDC has been working closely with health department departments and partners to develop vaccination plans for when a vaccine is available. With the possibility of one or more COVID-19 vaccines becoming available before the end of this year, here are eight things you need to know about where those plans currently stand. One, the safety of COVID-19 vaccines is a top priority. The U.S. vaccine safety system ensures that all vaccines are as safe as possible. Learn how federal partners are working together to ensure the safety of COVID-19 vaccines. Again, I'm going to provide a link to what we're going over today, and all the links are available to you to check out. Number two, many vaccines are being developed and tested, but some might be ready before others. CDC is planning for many possibilities. CDC is working with partners at all levels, including healthcare associations, on flexible COVID-19 vaccination programs that can accommodate different vaccines and scenarios. CDC has been in contact with your state public health department to help with your state's planning. State, tribal, local, and territorial health departments are critical to making sure vaccines are available to communities. Number three, at least at first, COVID-19 vaccines might be used under an emergency use authorization, a EUA, from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. It then says learn more about, and you see there's links. Again, you could access them um, um, from the link I provide in the description below. Number four, there may be a limited supply of COVID-19 vaccines before the end of 2020 but supply will continually increase in the weeks and months that follow. The goal is for everyone to be able to easily get a COVID-19 vaccine as soon as large quantities are available. The plan is to have several thousand vaccination providers available, including doctor's offices, retail pharmacies, hospitals, and federally qualified health centers. Then it goes on to say, learn how... Um, learn about how the federal government began investing in select vaccine manufacturers to help them increase 
and you could go through that if you so choose. If there is a limited supply, some groups may be recommended to get a COVID-19 vaccine first. Experts are working on how to distribute these va limited vaccines in a fair, ethical, and transparent way. The National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine uh, gave input to the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, which will make recommendations to the CDC director once a vaccine is authorized or approved for use. Uh, making COVID-19 vac vaccination recommendations. CDC makes vaccination recommendations, including those for COVID-19, based on input from the advisory. Okay, we see now. Number six, at first, COVID-19 vaccines may not be recommended for children. In early clinical trials for various COVID-19 vaccines, only non-pregnant adults participated. However, clinical trials continue to expand those recruited to participate. The groups recommended to receive the vaccines could change in the future. Now, again, that's coming from CDC. Nothing from me. Number seven, costs will not be an obstacle to getting vaccinated against COVID-19. Vaccine does doses, <laughs> vaccine doses purchased with U.S. taxpayer dollars will be given to the American people at no cost. That's funny because they just said purchase with taxpayer dollars. <laughs> However, vaccine providers will be able to charge administration fees for giving or administering the shot to someone. So basically what that means, I believe, is like if you go to your local pharmacy, although you won't have to pay for the shot itself, you will have to pay the pharmacy's fee for actually giving you the shot. Not for what's in the shot, but for their physical worker doing it. Labor, I guess. Vaccine, provi <laughs> vaccine providers can get this fee reimbursed by the patient's public or private insurance company or for uninsured patients by the Health Resources and Services Administration's provider relief fund. And finally, number eight, COVID-19 vaccine planning is being updated as new information becomes available. CDC will continue to update this website as plans develop. Well, that's the first part, folks. Like I said, there is, let me see here. Oops. There's a bunch of them that I'm going to go over because a lot of people are, and, and, and I understand it. They, you know, first of all, they're scared, you know, because wear a mask, don't wear masks, do this, that, everything. Uh, Close schools, open schools, everybody's people confused, and there's people that are really scared, and there's people that aren't scared. So each their own. But I want to do this short series, so hopefully you can share this, so that people that are confused or don't know, don't even just remember. Because you, like myself, I'm an IT person, but you don't have to be an IT person to get on the web. There's a lot of people that don't use computers or they do and they just don't know how to do certain. There's a lot of people that don't know how to use computers and that's not a knock on them. They just don't or they're scared to. They're intimidated by computers. It's just a fact. There's millions of people. So I'm hoping something like this, they go on YouTube and they see the title series or whatever on Vaccine from the CDC, whatever, however I decide to name it. Maybe it could put them at ease. And for YouTube, hopefully YouTube, I don't see how they would take any of this down because, like, I haven't injected any opinion. Only about the taxpayer dollar thing. That was just a joke. But, you know, this is straight from the CDC. So, anyway, please do me a favor. Please share this video. It's, I think it's going to be really helpful to people that have no idea what's going on and know nothing about the vaccines and everything, okay? So this one, actually, it's a little long because I'm just blabbering to tell you about it, but um, they're going to be quick videos. I'm going to go through them, boom, and I'll be creating a playlist also, all right? So again, please like, share, and subscribe, especially share, okay? I really would appreciate that. That would be helpful. Um, you stay safe and healthy, and I, again, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving with your family and friends. Peace.